Hi, my name is Evan Lemoyne, born and raised in Louisiana, but I've been living in Mexico almost half my life. I'm fluent in both English and in Spanish. And I had a big conversion when I was about 21 years old. My parents had separated. We had suffered the aftershocks of all of that in throughout my family, my brothers and sister and just all the ways that we were falling into the pirate counterfeit version of love, happiness, and transcendence. And I just remember feeling like I was in, in, like in a raft in the middle of the ocean, dying of thirst, dying for, for the real thing, you know? And everybody around me just kept offering me the salt water. Felicidad es un bien completo. Placer es un bien parcial. El placer no es malo siempre y cuando no va en contra de la felicidad. ¿Cuál es el problema número uno de autoestima en el mundo? Cuando creemos que el placer vale más que nosotros mismos. Cuando sacrifico todo sobre el altar del placer, digo, sacrifico mi futuro, sacrifico mis sueños, sacrifico mis estudios, sacrifico mis proyectos, mis deseos más profundos, sacrifico mi salud, sacrifico mi vida misma, pongo en peligro a mi familia, a mi matrimonio, a mi noviazgo, al amor, a mi persona, a la felicidad, con tal de sentir un poco más de placer. And if you think about it, the salt water, it looks like what might actually satisfy, you know? But if you try it, you just end up getting more dehydrated. It doesn't satisfy, but it actually frustrates you more. It's like the anti-satisfaction. And the more I tried it, people would just say, no, 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 you just got to get the right combination. You just got to get the right technique. If you mix this pleasure with that pleasure, if you mix this lifestyle with that lifestyle, you'll finally get it. And it got to the point, thanks be to God, when my parents got back together and they reconciled and they both had this huge conversion and they invited me to learn the theology of the body of John Paul II. And this was just a revolution in my life. It was like getting a periscope out and being able to see through all the clouds and the fog of my environment, my lifestyle, my confusion, and being able to see in the distance this island where I could find waterfalls and fountains of true love, true happiness, and true transcendence, life in abundance. And I grabbed hold of that. And I have spent the rest of my young adult and adult life diving deeper into the meaning of what it is to be human, the meaning of human love and sexuality, the meaning of our calling to love as God loves and to enter into a deep communion of love with Him. And this is something that ever since we got married, my wife and I have been doing this full time. We live in Mexico. We've been to 19 different countries. We've spoken to stadium audiences and living room audiences, to pro-life groups, to young adult groups, to married couples, marriage renewals, schools, sexual education, consecrated life. We've been able to share this message of hope and love to people all around the world in both English and in Spanish. And I really hope that you give us the opportunity to share this message with you.